Welcome to Brainstorm MTG. I'm ELD, and this is Fast Effect Double Speed Magic the Gathering. Here we have some legacy filmed at Scholars Games in Brockton, Mass. Goblins winning the die roll. I'm on Goblins this week, uh, running for the last time probably for a while. Uh, just a fun deck. I actually included Mog Bombers for a little wacky combo finish. And up against perhaps the best deck in the format here in Check Pile, a lot of people feel that Grixis Delver deserves the crown. Uh, I gotta say, Check Pile, in my experience, uh, tends to be a stronger deck. Uh, of course, Delver can really make you eat those words when he does flip and he is kind of on curve and, and does what he's supposed to do, but Check Pile just really has a ton of resiliency, a lot of card advantage in those games that don't really go perfectly for your opponent, very often end up coming back to you. Has the ability to fight on the stack, on the board, and in the hand, uh, with him to Torok being just really an exceptionally powerful tool uh, when combined with Snapcaster. And of course, the, uh, the counter spells of uh, Force of Will uh, primarily, and then flash counters around it. Uh, really just make sure that you're not going to get blown out. Uh, but you've got solid enough threats that you don't have to just counter every creature that comes your way, uh, like some older control decks. I mean, this deck can pretty much do it all. Uh, we'll see if it can handle the Goblin Menace, though. Goblins can go quite wide. Some of that one-for-one -one removal look pretty bad. Uh, looks like Matron and Violet 3. A lot of plays available there. And save up for the future with Ringleader. War Chief. Our Chieftain is also a really strong card here. And Matron. Gonna grab, grab the Mog Bombers. Four damage coming in. Oh, and Colgan's Command. That is gonna really punish that line. Aether Vial down, that's going to make it much harder to combo. And Mog Bombers is 4 mana. Another War Chief, I'm sorry, another Chieftain, likely the optimal play there. Ensuring that I'd have a 3 mana play no matter what. And double Death Rite from Pile here. Along with Baleful Strict. So Krenko comes down. And he has the Lightning Bolt. That is a card that uh, Checkpile has been skimping on lately in favor of cards like Abrupt Decay and Olgan's Command. So he has the actual removal for, Col uh, for Krenko. Otherwise, this game would have gotten out of hand. And it looks like him to Torok, flashback via Snapcaster. So him, Snapcaster, him leaves me hellbent. And that... Goblin Matron with Pendlehaven can at least slow the beats here. Not really any instants or sorceries from Goblins. Arfire and Pyrokinesis, the only main deck ones. So Kyle's going to need to rely entirely on his graveyard to drain with his death right. Looks like another Matron comes out. Wish I could get Pyrokinesis. But that would be nice if it was a goblin. Uh, really far behind here. Ringleader could be an option. The other Krenko an option as well. It's just a question if Krenko alone could be enough. Uh, Siege Gang could also be an option at 5 mana. But this is pretty bad spot. Essentially facing down 5 damage a turn as long as Kyle can keep that graveyard stocked. That's the big question mark here. Cards like Ponder are going to be his best friend. Baleful Strix is going to be able to come in in the air. Death Rites. Real threat. Looks like Ringleader is the call. Let me know in the comments what you would have taken. Would you have gone with the Siege Gang and hoped for an untap step? Would you just hope for some 
card advantage here. Double Snapcaster swinging. One of them eaten by the Matron. Gonna be able to cast Ringleader off of Cavern. Still have that Pendlehaven available. Horn Instigator, Mog, War Marshal, Goblin, Lackey. Normally a really good pull off of Ringleader, uh, but in this situation, likely not going to be good enough. Really need some hastiness going on. Those Deathrite Shamans activating end of turn. Down to four. Can he get two instants and sorceries into his graveyard? Another cavern. Looks like Siege Gang would have been a better choice now. Siege Gang would have been a direct line to be able to get those death rites off the board. Snapcaster blocking... Ringleader, Deathrite's attempting to eat the one ones. Fatal push. As one of the instants and sorceries needed, can he find another one? Seems like only a matter of time. And there it is, a ponder. So that is gonna allow Deathrite to take out goblins in game one. One game up for Kyle. Sideboard, not a ton of stuff for Checkpile. Uh, there are answers for Baleful Strix in the form of Tin Street Hooligan and Tuk Tuk. Uh, being an artifact creature does leave it uh, kind of vulnerable to the most possible removal. Uh, which kind of balances the card out to a degree. And if you can do it with a card like Tuck Tuck or Tin Street, that's certainly preferable than using a one-for-one -one trade, seeing how they do get that card draw off of it. Gem Palm Incinerator can almost always kill Baleful Strix as well, as long as you have any goblins on board, it'll take it out. Uh, but that card, if you can save it for bigger threats, uh, can certainly help. You know, it can take out a card like Guramag Angler, I can take out a Leovold, uh, really anything with higher toughness that Gem Palm Incinerator can be a nice trump to. Like, I'm going to try not to over-sideboard here. Baleful Strix, definitely a, a solid card in the matchup, but not, not a real, um, not a dominant card. It's not like you're attacking with a single creature or, you know, like an Emrakul, uh, where if they manage to survive the Annihilator trigger, now that Baleful Strix can literally hold off a Titan. Uh, you're generally going to be able to go quite wide around Baleful Strix. Bit of a new layout here this week. Let me know what you think of it. Right, Arid Mesa starting out. That is grabbing a basic mountain. Into Goblin Lackey. And of course on the other side, there is Death Right. The reason why people kind of got scared off of goblins in the first place. And he's putting in Ringleader, so a solid start here. Just getting Gem Palm and Cinerator off of him. Uh, but that could be just fine if it can remove a creature. And an Aether Vial as well. Him to Torok gonna take out a lot of the value of that Aether Vial. Hitting that Ringleader. Ugh. That is rough. Ringleader is an excellent card to bounce back from cards like him to Torok, potentially netting up to four goblins. 
it looks like Mog Bomber coming down off of that Goblin Lackey trigger. Not ideal. Uh, but, you know, six damage a turn here. See if Isle can find some removal. Unfortunately, Mog Bomber is, is not meant to be used this way. It really is just a combo card. If Isle's able to draw a creature, it will kill the Mog Bombers. Of course, it'll also lightning bolt his face. Five damage coming in. Two turns here. And Baleful Strix. Great way to clear him out of there. Oh, and it looks like a little sloppy play here. Actually opening up to a real blowout if Kyle has Lightning Bolt. So Gem Palm Incinerator taking out the Baleful Strix. Should have done that with the Mog Bomber trigger on the stack. That would have ensured that uh, both couldn't be destroyed in response, making Gem Palm do zero damage. So got lucky there with some loose play to not be punished. And Matron here going to be able to tutor up Chieftain. And piled down to just five life, threatening lethal with that chieftain. Snapcaster, him to Torok. Man, chieftain would be a really good draw right now. Uh, instead, it's just the one damage from Matron coming in, not looking to cash in that ringleader as of yet. Ooh, and Marsh Casualties. That is brutal right there. Marsh Casualties kicked actually does minus two, minus two to all creatures. Now porting during the end step. There's the Chieftain. Fatal Push is around. Able to get a fetch land in the graveyard before it. And now things are getting bad. So this Snapcaster continuing to compound. Olgan's Command. Taking out Warren Instigator. Snapcaster could have been off the board with an attack from Ringleader. There's Chieftain. All the answers all day here from Checkpile. Abrupt Decay taking out that Chieftain. And now Baleful Strix. And it looks like this has been completely stabilized. There we go. Checkpile earns the check mark. That is the end of a very fun round of magic right there. That's all for this one. If you enjoyed the video, please help grow the channel by subscribing. You'll be notified when we upload new videos like Fast Effect, Double Speed Magic with Commentary, or Untapped, our raw tournament gameplay. Thanks for watching.